Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Hero Pack Focus, and this time we are looking into the Iceman Hero Pack that just recently came out for Marvel Champions the card game. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so Iceman Bobby Drake comes with a pre built aggression deck. Uh, there are no other aspect cards in the uh, Hero Pack, uh, there is one extra. A modular set uh, called Sauron, which we will uh, see at the end of the video. But first, let's head into the signature cards. So, first off, we have Bobby Drake, uh, Recovery of Four, Mutant Traded, Alter Ego. Uh, Bobby Drake begins the game with six Frostbite upgrades set aside. Cool off response after you change to this form, shuffle one ice card from your discard pile into your deck for each copy of the Frostbite in play. And hand size 6, hit points 11. Then we have the hero side, which is Iceman. Uh, 1 for 2 attack, 2 defense, ice and axeman traded. Freeze. Interrupt when Iceman makes a basic attack or defense against an enemy. Attach a set aside copy of Frostbite to that enemy. Hand size of 5 and 11 hit points. So we have the Frostbite cards. There are 6 cards in the deck. These are set aside at the start of the game. So uh, it is a. Uh, uh, up. Uh, Slash cost upgrade, frostbite uh, is a condition and ice traded, uh, permanent, attacks enemy gets minus one scheme and one minus one attack. Forced response, after attacks enemy activates or leaves play, set this card aside. And as I said, there are six copies of this in the deck. So you will be uh, playing these onto the enemies and making them uh, weaker. Then we have two copies of Snow Clone. So Snow Clone is a two cost ally with uh, slash sword and two attack with an asterisk. Ice and X Men traded. Two hit points. Cannot be up, uh, have upgrade. Uh, cannot have upgrades attached. Uh, the Asterix is no clone takes minus one consequential damage after it attacks an enemy with frostbite attack attached and can be committed as a physical resource. Next up we have Power Belt. It is a two cost upgrade. It is item and tech traded. You get plus three hit points. Hero resource. Exhaust Power Belt, generate a wild resource for an ice card. And this can be committed as an energy resource. So this should be pretty good with Iceman's ice cards. Which there are plenty of. Uh, the next one isn't one, but it is Cairo Cairo Genetic uh, Perception. It is a two cost upgrade, super power traded, hero response, after you resolve your freeze ability, exhaust this card, draw one card. If that card has the ice trade, ready Iceman. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Next up we have Ice Slide, it is a two cost upgrade, ice and super power traded. Iceman gets plus one thwart, plus one attack and plus one defense and gains the aerial trade. Force response after you change to alter ego form, shuffle this card into your deck. And it can be committed as an energy resource. Next up we have two copies of Frozen Solid. It is a three cost upgrade, condition ice traded, hero form only, attached to an enemy, max one per enemy. Forced interrupt when attached enemy would activate, discard frozen solid instead. Then attach a set aside copy of frostbite to that enemy, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So this is actually quite similar to Corset Spider-Man's uh, webbed 
or or something like that. It is basically just a stun or confuse, but stops the next activation. So it, it seems like an okay card. Three cost is decent for that ability. Uh, then we have Ice War. It is a four cost support. Ice traded forced interrupt when an identity uh, would take any amount of damage from an enemy attack. Place that damage here instead. Then if there is at least eight damage here, discard this card and attach a set aside copy of Frostbite to the enemy that just attacked. And this can be committed as a physical resource. So this is quite great. It lets you stay in hero mode for longer in true solo and also triggers of uh, frost frostbite when it's uh, discarded, which keys off from other cards. Next up we have Arctic Attack. There are two copies of this card. It is a two cost event, attack, ice and superpower traded. Hero action, attack, choose, deal four damage to an enemy and attack and attach a set aside copy of Frostbite to it or deal 6 damage to an enemy with Frostbite attached and this can be committed as a energy resource. Then we have Ice Blast. Uh, there are two copies of this. Ice Blast is a 3 cost event, Ice and Superpower traded. Here action, choose a player, attach a set aside copy of Frostbite to the villain and each minion engaged with that player. Deal 3 damage to each enemy with a copy of Frostbite attached. And this can be copy, uh, committed as a physical resource. So, first off, um, I'm not seeing that much use of this card in True Solo. But maybe if there are a lot of um, minions or villains in play and you have uh, spammed frostbite all over then this is a good card but in true solo i i think that this is a bit costly for what it does next up we have chill out this is the last um, signature card there are three copies of this so chilled out uh, chill out is a two cost event ice and super power and thwart traded Hero action toward remove three threat from a scheme and that's a set aside copy of frostbite to an enemy and this can be committed as a mental resource. So those were all the signature cards for uh, Iceman. Next up we look into the cards uh, for the rest of the pre-built aggression deck. We'll start with the aggression cards and we have Shark Girl. And Shark Girl is a 2 cost ally with 0 toward and 2 attack with an asterisk, X-Men traded and 2 hit points. And the asterisk is while Shark Girl is attacking an enemy, she gets plus 1 attack for each upgrade attached to that enemy. And uh, it can be uh, committed as an energy resource. So Shark Girl actually com um, combos off with the Frostbites quite well. So a 2 cost ally that hits for 3 if uh, the target is Frostbitten. Uh, then it seems like a good good deal. Then we have Glob. So Glob is a 3 cost ally with 2 toward uh, with 2 consequential damage and 2 attack with 1 consequential damage. And X-Men trade at 3 hit points. Play only if your identity has the X-Men trait. Response after Glob enters play. Deal 2 damage to an enemy with an upgrade attached. And it can be committed as a energy resource. So again, comboing off with uh, attachments. Next up we have uh, Suppressing Fire. There are three copies of this. Suppressing Fire is a tactic, uh, zero cost upgrade and tactic traded attached to a minion, max one per minion. Uh, hero interrupt. When you attack and defeat a attached minion, heal 2 damage from your hero. Okay, well that this is actually really nice. I have been waiting for something like this for uh, aggression. And nice to have, have that card. Then we have a surprise move. Three copies of this. Surprise move is a one cost event. Tactic traded. Hero interrupt. When you make a basic attack against an enemy with an upgrade attached, you get plus two attack for this attack. 
If this attack defeats an enemy, ready your hero. And it can be committed as a mental resource. Okay. Um, next up we have take that. Uh, the three copies of this. So take that is a three cost event. Attack traded hero action. Attack deal seven damage to an enemy with an upgrade attached. And it can be committed as a, a energy resource. So immediately uh, there is a extra cost for this. It is three costed which is high and se seven damage is quite good. But you have to have an attachment on that enemy for you to be able to play this. So that, that you need to keep in mind when using that card. Uh, next we have Looking for Trouble. Uh, three copies of this. Looking for Trouble is a zero cost event. Toward hero action, toward discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you discard a minion, put that minion into play, engage with you, remove three threat from that the main scheme. So yeah, uh, this is a reprint, so that that's why it sounded so familiar. But yeah, this is a uh, first came in the um, uh, Tor Hero Pack back in the day, but now it uh, has a new nice new X-Men art on it. But it is the same card. Then we have uh, a side scheme for aggression. Keep up the pressure. Uh, it is a player side scheme uh, with uh, zero cost, victory zero. When defeated, each player may search their deck and discard pile for an attack event and add it to their hand. Shuffle until the end of the phase. Each attack event deals one additional damage. And this comes into play with two um, threat on it. And it can be committed as an energy resource. So those were all the new um, aggression cards. Next we have a bunch of um, basic cards still. So we have Shadow Cat. Uh, Shadow Cat is a 3 cost ally with 2 toward and 1 attack. X-Men trade at 3 hit points. Uh, play only if your identity has the X-Men trade. Response after you play Shadow Cat from your hand. Choose a side scheme in play. That scheme loses each uh, icon on it until the end of the round. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So this basically lets you ignore the symbol on, on a card, which can help. I, I think mostly you will be using this to um, cancel the crisis icon that you can toward the main scheme and etc. But yeah, I, I can see a lot of uses for this. Next up, we have Beak. Beak is a two cost ally with one toward and one attack. X-Men traded two hit points. Response after you play Beak from your hand, remove one threat from a scheme or for each X-Men ally you control. And um, this can be committed as a mental resource. Uh, I mean an energy resource. So yeah, this this case of when you have a bunch of allies. So this is good then. Then uh, we have a reprint, which is the team building exercise. Three copies of this. So basically, exhaust team building exercise. Play a card from your hand. Oh, this is a hero action, a two cost support. Um, uh, play a card from your hand that shares the trade with your hero, reducing its resource cost by one. So you can make uh, cards cheaper with this. So, for example, Iceman can play ice cards or X Men cards cheaper. Uh, then we have Recuperation. I think this is a reprint also. Yeah, uh, so it's uh, three copies of it. Uh, two cost event Recuperation, Alter Ego Action Heal, damage from your Alter Ego equal to your recovery. And it can be committed as a physical resource. And lastly we have two copies of a re an another reprint, The Power in All of Us, which is the basic resource. Uh, Max 2 per deck, double the number of resources this card generates when playing a basic gray card. Okay, those were all the cards that uh, came in the uh, hero uh, pre built aggression deck. Next, we'll look at the uh, obligation and nemesis uh, sets for Iceman. First off, 
we have hot headed. So hot headed is an obligation given to the Bobby Drake player. Force response. After you attach a frostbite upgrade to an enemy, take one damage. Alter ego response. After you make a basic recovery, discard this card. Okay, well, that's a easy way to get rid of it. Usually you need to be an alter ego and exhaust or something, but now you need to go on to alter ego and just heal and it will go off. Okay, well, next up uh, we have the Nemesis set and it is the, the Nemesis minion is Pyro, which is thematic and it is, uh, the Pyro is uh, one scheme and three attack with an asterisk uh, minion. Uh, four hit points, Brotherhood of Mutants, traded, quick strike, and the uh, asterisk is Pyro's attack deal indirect damage. And Pyro has three boost icons. Uh, then we have the Nemesis side scheme, with the, which is playing with fire. Uh, when defeated, the player who defeated this scheme discards the top three cards of their deck and takes one indirect damage for each resource icon discarded this way and this has a um, acceleration icon on it and comes into play with three threat on it and has three boost icons. Then uh, we have uh, Pyro's Flamethrower which is an attachment attached to Pyro otherwise this card gains search uh, gives plus zero attack uh, forced interrupt when Pyro attacks you discard the top card of your deck Pyro gets plus one attack for this attack for each resource icon on that card. Okay, uh, so it varies how much it gives you. Uh, it, it gives Pyro the plus, plus one. Okay, and it has two boost icons. And lastly, we have two copies of Burn. So burn is a treachery. When revealed, discard the top two cards of your deck, three cards instead. If pyro is in play, take one indirect damage for each resource icon discarded this way. And uh, it has a boost ability icon, and it has a boost ability. Discard the top card of your deck. This card gets plus one boost icon for each resource icon on that card. Okay. So that was the application Nemesis sets. Lastly, we we'll look at the extra encounter set that comes in this hero pack, which is Sauron. We will start with Sauron himself. So Sauron is a minion with two scheme and two attack, Brotherhood of Mutants traded, six hit points. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the life drain attachment and reveal it. And uh, Sauron has a boost ability icon and the boost uh, abilities heal three damage from the activ activating enemy and give it a tough status card. Okay, that seems quite quite annoying, but yeah. Next we have Sauron Lives. So Sauron Lives is a side scheme. When defeated, the player who defeated this side uh, this scheme searches the encounter deck and discard pile for Sauron and deals him. Uh, to themselves as a face down encounter card. And it has a crisis symbol on it and three comes into play with three threat on it. And has three boost icons. So this uh, this is quite not annoying because you will have two chances in the encounter deck to see Sauron which is a nasty villain or a minion. Uh, then we have Life Drain. Uh, Life Drain is an attachment uh, with an asterisk attack. Superpower traded attached to the minion with the highest printed hit points, it activates against you. If no minion activated this way, this card can surge. Forced interrupt when attached enemy attacks you, take two damage and give the attacking enemy a tough status card. And this can be committed as I mean this has two boost icons on it. Lastly, we have three copies of the Eye of Sauron. Okay, so the Eye of Sauron is a treachery. When revealed, discard the top two cards of your deck. Top three cards instead. If you, if Sauron is in play, for each resource icon discarded this way, do the following. Uh, energy resource, place one threat on the main scheme. Mental resource, discard one card from your hand. 
uh, energy, not, I mean physical resource, uh, deal one damage to your identity or wild exhaust a car character you control. And that is everything that comes in Iceman's Hero Pack. So I'm uh, looking forward to sleeving Iceman up and trying it out against uh, some scenario in the Age of Apocalypse um, campaign uh, box. Um, I'm actually thinking of trying Iceman out in uh, uh, with the Sauron encounter set in the Four Horsemen scenario because I really like that scenario. There are a multi multitude of enemies in that that uh, and, and scenario right away because there are four villains in play. So maybe I'll try uh, Iceman against that scenario. But hope you guys find found this uh, Hero Pack focus interesting and thanks for watching and until next time.